If you go searching for waterfalls to explore, Niagara Falls must be on your radar. After all, these falls are iconic. There are three waterfalls that fall between the American state of New York and the Canadian province of Ontario. The largest is Horseshoe Falls that's mostly on the Canadian side, with the American and Bridal Veil Falls on the American side. Besides the number of people who attempt to go over the falls, walk across them, or try other stunts, there are a few other interesting facts that you probably don't already know. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at Niagara Falls, a better understanding of its past, and what to expect in the future. Engineers drained Niagara Falls in 1969. To fully comprehend the magic of Niagara Falls, we'll start by looking at the past and what's already taken place there. If you take a look at the falls today, you'd never believe that at one point they were completely drained. Why and what was the point behind someone doing this? Well, in 1969, Niagara's American Falls were dewatered for six months during the summer and autumn months to evaluate the rock face and determine if erosion was causing it to become destabilized. Stopping such a powerful waterfall was no easy feat. The American army built a 600-foot dam across the Niagara River, diverting the 60,000 gallons of water that flowed each second entirely over to the Canadian side. The dam was built up of nearly 30,000 tons of rocks and used to stop the flow of the American Falls since only 10% of the water followed that route. While the falls dried up, many engineers got to work and analysed any faults that would ultimately damage the falls over time. Workers continued to clean out the bottom of the river and tourists were able to view the inaccessible falls from a viewpoint that was 20 feet from the edge of the dry falls. Sadly, a woman's body was retrieved from under the falls once they had dried up, and as the project continued, a man jumped over the falls and took his own life. After almost four months of working on the falls, the dam was blown up with dynamite in front of 2,650 observers. The flow of the American Falls was restored, and Niagara Falls returned to the falls we know and love today. What do you think about the water from Niagara Falls being stopped? Was it necessary, or could it have been avoided? It appears as if they made the right call to prevent as much damage early on, but we'll have to wait and see what happens in the future. A system developed to enable power from Niagara Falls. Another fact about Niagara Falls that may surprise you is that it is a great source of power. How great is the power source and when did this happen? Inventor Nikola Tesla was the intelligence behind this creation and this groundbreaking method of sourcing power. As most inventors do, Nikola Tesla saw and thought outside the box. He could see past the beauty of the falls themselves and uncover one of the best ways to create power, through a hydroelectric power plant. In 1895, Tesla worked with an industrialist by the name of George Westinghouse to create the first hydroelectric plant at Niagara Falls. This invention not only was a stroke of genius, but it also changed the way we look at natural forces as a means to fulfill our ever-growing needs as a society. To make matters even more interesting, Tesla was actually rivals with Thomas Edison at the time. They were competing against each other to see who could produce the most efficient system to transmit electricity. They went head to head as they competed to see whose invention would live on. Tesla created alternating current, meanwhile Edison created direct current. Ultimately, AC was more efficient and less expensive. Both men presented a proposal to create a plant at Niagara Falls in 1893, and as I'm sure you can guess, they went with Tesla and Westinghouse's idea. The biggest selling point of Tesla's proposal in comparison to Edison's was that there was a strong belief that his system could be transmitted over long distances. When looking at Edison's proposal, on the other hand, they held great doubt that this would function in the same way. For Nikola Tesla, Creating this plant at Niagara Falls wasn't something he simply fell into. It was a lifelong dream of his to work on a system that could be powered by the falls. As a child, he played with mechanical models and created water turbines, insisting that he would go to America someday to work on it. 
his dream came true after many years of hard work and determination. Its electricity was ordered by thousands in the first few years, which led to the increase of generators due to the demand. That led to more of the United States using this type of power, and by 1920, over 25% of the country was using hydroelectric plants for their electricity. It's safe to say that Nikola Tesla probably doesn't get enough credit. However, have you heard of him before? You may have, but somehow Edison still gets all the praise when it comes to discoveries surrounding electricity. Tesla was truly a genius and has left an amazing legacy in working with Niagara Falls. We probably wouldn't be where we are today if it hadn't been for his ingenuity and desire to work with this natural wonder to create a life-changing source of power. Niagara Falls is slowly eroding. Did you know that Niagara Falls is slowly eroding? Erosion at the falls has been a long ongoing issue, but how bad is it? The interesting thing is that if you were to visit the falls and then not to return for 10 or 50 years, you probably wouldn't notice a difference, but experts have noted that they are slowly eroding. Over the years, the rate of erosion has been approximately 3 feet per year, and over the past 12,300 years, it has eroded 11.4 kilometers. Fortunately, due to corrective efforts, the falls continue to erode at about one foot per year on average since 1942. Even at only one foot per year, it's eroding at a rapid rate. But how is this happening? The rate at which the vast amount of water flows over the rocks causes rocks to break and minerals that would typically strengthen rocks are washed away by the water. The cold climate of the Niagara region from November to May each year also impacts the erosion of the falls. The rocks freeze, and then when they thaw in the summer months, they are more likely to endure breakage. Another issue is that the water currently flows over limestone rock, which is a fairly soft rock. As the water continues to flow heavily over the limestone, it will eventually break down and reach an even softer layer of rock beneath. When that happens, the rate of erosion will only increase, becoming more of a problem. There are many reasons as to why the erosion has slowed over the years, the main one being that the hydroelectric generation plants have been created through water from the Niagara River. Engineers are also aware of this problem that the falls face and regularly repair faults and construct underwater weirs, among other preventative measures. After further research, some experts suggest that the rate of erosion may switch from one foot per year to one foot every 10 years due to environmental efforts. Although that sounds promising, the effects of climate change and the unpredictability of a major rock breaking, for instance, no one can be sure of its timeline. The Niagara Falls are truly magnificent, so it's no wonder why engineers, inventors and scientists have been using it to our advantage while simultaneously trying to protect it from future damage. Luckily, if you haven't made it to see Niagara Falls for yourself yet, you most likely have enough time to see them before they vanish before our eyes. Whilst some scientists speculate the American Falls could be gone in 2,000 years, others believe that Niagara Falls will still be around for the next 50,000 years. The question is, how long will we be able to utilize the falls? It's clear that the erosion and other factors have played a factor in their eventual demise but we don't quite know when that will be. While science is progressing significantly each year, we still don't have all of the answers. We'll just need to ride the wave and work to sustain the marvel that is Niagara Falls for as long as possible. But what do you make of these interesting facts about Niagara Falls? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.